camera. Action! This is Chris, the Idaho Painter. In this video, we're going to show you how we go about spraying some plantation shutters. And we're at a home right here. We've got a bunch of plantation shutters that we're going to paint. And yes, you can paint them. And we're going to be spraying them with an airless sprayer and using a fine finish tip with that airless sprayer. And we've got a little outbuilding right here that we've set up a little spray booth in to spray them because you don't want to spray them outside because of the wind, dust, sun, the heat. Uh, would actually cause them to dry too fast. So we want a controlled environment. So we set up the spray booth. We're getting ready to spray them. We're going to show you the process how we go about spraying these shutters. So you can see right here we've got this little small building outside. You can use any type of room. You can use a garage or even a room in the house to set up your spray booth. And we've just took and dropped 9 by 400 plastic from the ceiling all the way down. We covered the floor with paper and we're going to be setting our shutters on cardboard shields and we're going to be spraying them in this room. Then we're going to be moving them to another room where there is no dust or overspray so they can actually dry and cure before we hang them. And they'll take about an hour to dry before we can actually hang them. So you can see right here we've got a door going outside where we can bring in the shutters, set them up right here and spray them. And then we're moving them right behind the camera right here to the other room. So we're going to show you right now how we actually go about spraying them. So I've got a plantation shutter right here, and these are functioning shutters right here. And so we're going to begin spraying them. I've got a Titan 440 set up outside. It's set up at about 3,000 PSI. We're using a Rack-X fine finish tip, and this is a Graco tip right here. We're using a Graco gun, and this is a 210 tip right here. You definitely want to have a fine finish tip because this is a fine finish product that we're spraying right here. So we've got a pressure set up at 3000 PSI. We're using a product from Sherwin Williams called Solo and it's a semi-gloss paint and it's a latex paint. So you've got to spray this shutter and there's a lot of different angles and this thing functions so you don't want to get too much spray inside the joints and stuff because it won't function anymore. But we've got to be conscious about getting it sprayed all the way around this shutter. So it looks good and looks like it was actually manufactured this way. So I'm going to begin spraying it. It's a good idea to have one person holding the shutter while you're spraying it. And that person, after you're done spraying it, then you'll move it to the next room to dry. So here we go. I'm going to show you how I go about spraying the shutter now. So we're going to start spraying them. We've got John, we've got Zach here. He's going to be holding the shutter. John's going to be spraying it. I'm going to explain to you a little bit about the process. We're going to be spraying the sides of it first. We've got to work on this rail, this hand right here too, and this thing's got functioning, it's got some staples in it, and then we gotta work on each one of these fins. So you gotta do it pretty quick. We've added some latex extender to extend the dry time of this paint so it gels out. Otherwise, you might get some fallout on each one of these fins and it'll be rough. So definitely wanna use some latex extender. Here we go with John Spran. He's gonna show you the first one. Okay, now the shutter sprayed, we've got to move it to the other room now. So you see we got our Titan 440 set up right outside the door here. Just got a short hose set up to it. And the Titan 440, it doesn't have a digital readout, but it's set up at about 3,000 PSI. Got our paint inside a five gallon bucket so it won't tip over. Got a rag, wet rag sitting on it so it won't dry out or skim over on the top and the paint will stay fresh. And just got the hose running inside and spraying the shutters right now. Another simple tip while you're spraying these shutters, we got one guy that's actually holding the hose as you're walking around. That way the hose doesn't actually hit your shutter at all either. Got one person holding it, one person or one person holding the shutter, one person holding the hose. I don't got a mask on right now because I'm trying to talk in the video, but other guys inside this booth got a mask, which is a good idea. 
So we're going to begin spraying this thing. Okay, here we go on our final shutter. I'm going to show you the process. We're working on the edges, then we're going to work on this side, the rail, coming back on this side. We want to make sure to get the bottoms and the tops. Don't forget to use your latex extender. That way it takes a lot slower to dry and they will gel out. It won't get any dry feathering or rough spots. Well, that's our last one. We're going to move it over here, let them dry, and then we're going to take them back inside the house and rehang them. So you can see we're in our other room right here. I got our shutters set up in here drying. We're going to lean them up against the wall. We just put some paper so they can lean up against the wall and not get any wet paint on the wall in here. It's going to be about an hour for them to dry, and then we're going to begin putting the hinges back on them to give